Okay. So here we've got a silver pencil Pekin Rooster. He's in about his third season, as you can see by the size of his claws. He's also got a little bit of life. So just today we're going to flip his little toenails and we're going to de him. Okay. So see I've just got his feet together like that so he can't rake me with his fur, which are quite big. Quite big fur. Very sharp. So this is the reason if we're going to show him, we're just going to tidy him up a little bit. We're using a set of dog nail clippers. Um, I find these very beneficial because they don't split the toes. They cut them nice and cleanly. Um, just be careful when cutting your toes that you don't go past the end of the vein because they will bleed. And they bleed a lot. <laughs> when they bleed it hurts, it stings. Um, one way to fix it is to dab that toe in cornflour or into a cake of soap right. and it forms like a scab on the top so it stops bleeding. Right. I'm just going to take the, the ends off this joker just so that they're a little bit tidier. Yeah. Shall we just do that at the very edge of his spear? Spear? Yeah. If those spears get too sharp, they will actually damage him and each other. Their hands. Um, their hands. So we really want to Especially the older they get, the sharper those spears will get. Yeah, his beak. Yeah, now he could do with a beak trim as well. So we could be able to do that. Because he's in his third season, he start, he's starting to get over at the beak. Can you right. zoom in on that? You got that there, Blake? Okay, you've been such a good boy, aren't you? Right there we are. Now, just the top bit. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Up about there. Yep. Beautiful. So that's just trimmed up his beak a little bit. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give him a little bit of a dusting with the pesting. And he's only got lice around his vent. This is the main area that they get lice or they get lousy, is in and around the vent. So you can see he hasn't had, he's starting to get, see this little bit there? It's like a little egg nest in a way. See where my finger is just there? It's like a little egg nest. So you have to be careful with the powder because it has got some poisonous stuff in it. Don't breathe it in. If you had a mask on your face it would probably be the best idea. And do it in an outside open air situation so that it's not it's going to blow away the residue. Rightio. So Tony is such a good assistant. We're going to spread the feathers out so it gets down to the skin. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a rub in like that, making sure we don't breathe it. We'll just do a little bit in his tummy there, spreading the feathers. We don't need a lot. Massage there, and just do under his wings. That's alright. Give it. Of course, we're going to wash our hands after we've finished. Okay, so that's the underneath. Just do a little bit in between the legs on this keel. And just around the bottom of his neck. He doesn't like he look like he's got anything around his no. neck. So it's good. So if you're going to take your beard to the show, you need to get the beard in at least two months before. Our local show is in May, so in February, March, I'd get the birds in, I'd start putting them in the cages, I would deworm them, and we'd have a little bit of look for lice, making sure that they're all in good nick. Trim their feet up then, don't trim them right before the show, do, it two, do all this preparation two months before the show, and then just keep checking regularly.
little bit reed in the skin there, right? Mm. So you're looking for reed skin. You want his skin to be nice and. I'm sorry, that's right. <laughs> you won't get them there. <laughs> I'm, I'm deloused. So the signs that he's got lice is that he might be going infertile. We we really want to look after him if we want his fertility to stay up. If he gets lice, then he may get infertile. Oh, because it just generally wears wears them down. So there, are, and, and that's how we, we manage the bird with as less stress as possible. So thinking about getting ready for the show, we might want to give his comb and his wattles a little bit of a treatment and his legs. So if you can grab me that aloe that's behind you. And I like to use the aloe vera because it does absorb in so that... The Vaseline tends to collect um, dust and gunge, and if you use the aloe, it absorbs in. It's very natural. So I've got any little wounds on yep. my comb from biting or going yep. through scrub. If he's got a major wound, I might use the old raw leaves. Yeah, look at, and then we can see those wattles down there, give them a little one around all the red bits on his face. You see, starting to look a little bit more cared for. It's a bit rough before then. With it being natural too, it wouldn't yep. worry if he got a little bit of those on No, and anyway. straight over the beak, I'd give that beak a little bit of a moisten up. A little bit of shine on his beak. So lots of people have their own secret little recipes that they use. Mine is aloe vera. Um, it's antifungal as well. And I, I really like to use as natural products as possible. So I would, over the course of two months before the show, I'd probably do this about four or five times, make sure that his comb is really in good shape because that's the first thing that the judge will look at is the comb. Make sure it's nice and moist. Okay. Now we're going to do the legs, so I'm going to flip him upside down again. And he hasn't got any leg mites, this boy, but if he did, I would probably give him um, a spray with some CRC, which actually seals the legs. 100,000 uses for CRC. <laughs> so can you, can you see what we're doing there? Yep. It's all there. And we're going to compare one with the other in a minute, so you can see the difference. So how does that look compared? This is the one that we've done, and this is the one that we haven't done, and you can see that this one's quite dry and scaly still, and this is better colour. Okay. So there you go, that's just a quick tidy up for him. <laughs> there you go, you look a bit better now. The other thing that I would do, but I would do it shortly before the show, is that I would trim all these hairs up here. These would get a little bit of a trim up, so they're not looking like his eyebrows are <laughs> overgrown. Because he's a little bit messy, you see, because there's a lot in the face. Don't underestimate how important the face is, especially being tidy. You're right, Mr. You're happy to get now. All right, there you go, D-Loud.